going on guys? <clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning. Shalom, shalom. Um, today, I want to be praying against any blue exchanges. Glory exchanges this is a very serious topic that a lot of people don't know of. And it's very detrimental. Um, so like uh, glory exchanges, that's really pretty much your, your life. That's printed, mapped out that the Lord has ordained for you. You have wicked men and women that is where who are used by the devil to, you know, exchange people, you know, uh, glory, their destiny for another person. So, you know, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be living a glorious life, but you're going through affliction, uh, evil, um, evil occurrences, sickness, perpetual, witchcraft, harassment, affliction, um, hatred, rejection, um, you feel like death is changing all over the place. Um, you're going through evil nightmares, all type of wickedness. So, um, if we read a book, we're just going to start from the book of, um, go to Matthew, of a Matthew. Matthew 2. And this is about King Herod. King Herod was good about seeking Jesus' star. He wanted to kill Jesus because they seen his, um, you know, pretty much they seen his future. But they seen that they had a bright future. And these these star hunters, they're like stargazers. They, um, they can say to your future before you even before you even come to this world. They can they can um, search it out while you're in the womb. So a lot, a lot of these men, they operate up. It's like a cultism. And then, if, if you got a good fusion, you know the devil will use them. They can be in your family line. They can be, you know, your neighbor. It could be a doctor. It could be a nurse. It could be a lawyer. It could be a police. It doesn't matter, matter who it is. It could be a scientist. Um, and they use, they can kill a, 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 a woman's child in the stomach, so that that person will not fulfill that. That's so look. Jesus, you know, Jesus is the reason why we're in there. So, you know, if the devil had a chance, he would have killed Jesus while he was in a womb of Mary. But the Lord protected him. Um, she hid it. She, um, the Lord hid them from Herod. He was going about killing all the two-year-olds because they couldn't figure out specifically which child was Jesus. So he went about slaying all the two-year-olds in under. And the Lord still frustrated that assignment. So let's go to uh, Matthew 2, 2. Mm-hmm. So imagine, a lot of people's lives have been truncated, been diverted to, you know, rubbish because they didn't know that, um, you know, that what was going on against them. A lot of people don't know about this things. You know, people, people had got their, their glory, their virtue, their star, their destiny exchanged, and they died from sickness and disease. You know, it was an evil train, it was an evil exchange. <laughs> As many ways can, they can do this to you, you know, um, the agent, the devil, can send agents your way to exchange, they can exchange your glory versus star and the evil dreams, the evil food, the evil drinks, and they do this by other verses, and it's called a concussion, they do it by incantations, incantations, they do it over the fool, so if you read Revelation 2, the Lord already talks about, yeah, someone against that problem is this bell, because she called my, caused my children, and she the <coughs> To eat their sacrifice of the idols and to commit fornication. <clears throat> and even if you read the book of Nahum, this is all hoardings. This is hoardings, bro. What's that, right? So Nahum. Um, Nahum. Nahum said it 3 verse 4. No, it's 3 1. It said, Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. They pr- the pray the part of not. So the prayers consider the Lord's children. So the pray the part of not. The noise of a whip. The noise of a rattling of the wheels. And the of the prince of horses. And the of the jumping chairs. The horsemen lifted up both the bright swarm and the glittering swarm. And there's a multitude of slain. And a number of corpses, and there is none end of their corpses. And they stumble by their corpses because of the monsters to other orders. Let the wealthy of heart, the mistress of witchcraft. So, this witchcraft spirit in which operates the stargazers, star hunters, they sell. They, they sell people, families. Um, uh, they sell nations, and they sell families to our orders. And um, scroll down all the way to. Even if you go to the next 
scriptures here because of the multitudes here. Behold, I'm against thee, says the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy scriptures. I put a face and I will shoot the nations thy nakedness, and the king kingdoms thy shame. Since I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vow, and I will send thee as a gaze and stop. That it shall come to pass that all that they all that look upon thee shall flee from thee, and say, Then it was they waste who will mourn when such shall see comers. And so then the first sentence said, Yes, she was carried away. She went to captivity, and her young children also dashed in pieces at the top of our streets, and they cast lots for honorable men and all great men with banner So the spirit of Jezebel, she has an army of men and women in this earth that I'm playing that spit of Jezebel. So, uh, let me see. The monthly progress is that's another one. So, let's go to the book of Isaiah before we go to Matthew. Let's go to Isaiah 47. Let's go to Isaiah 47. The Lord said, Stand out with thy champions, with the monsters of thy, of thy sorcerers, even for thy youth. So, he's talking about even from the youth, people have been doing these things. They've been doing witchcraft. The Lord is speaking to the, the Jezebel, the mother, the, the mother of harlots. That um, you know, you said um, even if you you can seek your your monthly your monthly prognosticators, your star your star gazers and your monthly predictors, star star what is it? Monthly prognosticators, star gazers and um, it's another. One. But I said they won't even be able to save you. And um, for them, so let's get a man. Oh man, this this scripture is missing. Okay. So let's just go to verse, verse 2. It says, saying, where is he that is born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And then when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said to them, in Bethlehem, of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet in Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princesses of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor. This is about Jesus. So out of marriage shall come a governor, and that shall rule my people Israel. <clears throat> so then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, he inquired of them diligently. So the Lord, um, Herod heard about this. So he inquired, he inquired of them diligently. What time to start up here? So a star, everyone has a star. If they can read it, they can read the star and tell if you're going to have a glorious dust in that. <clears throat> so, you know, John 10, 10 the, the, the enemy. The thief coming but for the steel and killed the shore. But the Lord came that we might have life and have him more funnily. So it said the heron when he had um said that he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And but he had found him. Bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. But he had heard the, the king. <coughs> they departed, and lo, the star which he saw in the east went before them to the king, stood over where the young child was. But he saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come down to the house, they saw the young child. With the Mary's mother and fell down and worshiped him and what he had over their treasures and they presented unto him gifts. So, you know, these people were presenting unto Jesus the baby, right? When the child him gifts because he knew that he was, you know, Jesus, the son of the living God. And said so they presented, uh, presented unto him gifts, go to the frankincense and myrrh. It says, and being warned of God in his dreams, so the Lord warned Joseph in the dream that he should not return to Herod and they departed in their own country, country another way. Where they were deported, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph at his dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and fleeing to Egypt, and be down there until thou bring thee word. For Hera will see the young child to the shroom. Where he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, and was there unto the death of Hera, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have, have I called my son. Then Hera, when he saw, he was mocked of the wise men, the witches, the witches. Astrologers, um, warlock sources. He was mocked at the bottom of the door, and he was exceedingly wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem. And, it, and so, since he was being mocked, he went about slaying all the children of Israel according to the time which he had diligently, diligently inquired. Um, but it was, then was fulfilled that was spoken by the German prophet. Um, stop right there. So, um, let's go to the next scripture. Let's go to the book of. Genesis 37. Now, if you go to Genesis 37, uh, this 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 page is actually missing as well. It's talking about his family. The enemy used his family as well. And Joseph told his family members about his dream. Like, you know, it's just like you telling your best friend, man, um, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this next year. And I think I'm going to, um, 
follow this job or create this business. And, you know, a lot of people make a mistake in telling people their their visions, their dreams, their aspirations, or some type of, um, you know, pretty much uh, their dreams or something that they feel motivated to do. And a lot of us make a mistake by doing this, right? So the devil uses any and everyone to try to cut off a person to make sure they do not fulfill their destiny. So that's what happened in the book of Genesis. You know, um, he told them that, you know, you guys are going to bow down to him. And his brothers and his mothers and his father were looking at him like he was crazy. We all, you mean to tell him that we're going to bow down to you? And after that, if you read Genesis 37, verse 18, um, when his brothers were in the field, because they, they were jealous, his father favored Joshua. I mean, um, no, Joseph, because he was the youngest. And his father gave, his father Jacob gave him a color, um, his favorite jacket of many colors. So that's just like you being a youngest daughter or son in a family. You have older, bro older brothers and sisters, and you're being favored. So that opens the door for jealousy and envy. And we see many times on the news, you see it on the news, how a brother might kill the younger brother or the, the, the um, older sister might kill the younger sister. Je jealousy, envy. And then it doesn't matter who the person is, they, they can use their family members. So that's what happened in this case. <clears throat> so before Joseph even got far into um, close with his brothers, they see him, for, they see him from afar off. And they said, let's slay this, let's slay him. And we will see what, we, what will become of his dreams. So... This is called glory killers. His powers, no, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of darkness. And principalities can use your family members, they can use your co-workers, they can use your best friend, they can use your pastor, they can use your church members, they can use your neighbors, they can use your cousin, it doesn't matter who it is. The spirit of witchcraft is a spirit. A lot of people think that's uh, an activity, it's a spirit, it's a principality, and they use anyone they can. It doesn't matter if that person loves you or not. If that person is not, you know, covered in the blood or, um, you know, filled with, with the God, the Spirit of God, they can be used against you. So that means your wife, your husband can be used against you by the Spirit of witchcraft. You know, you might have been married for 30 years. But once that Spirit of witchcraft, well, you know, the devil has, has an assignment against you. And that Spirit gets a hold of a person's conscience. They'll start doing witchcraft on the person. It doesn't matter if they love you. They will start doing spells, curses. Hexes, vexes on you, amen? So let's go to the next book. Uh, let's go to Psalms 11. So if you know this, matter of fact, let's go to Matthew 10. Now, that was about Joseph and his own family, his own brothers, sold him into slavery. They sold him into slavery because of, because of the, um, the visions they told him. So the devil was like, I'm not going to allow this boy to become what he told me he's going to be. He said he's going to be, you know, like uh, they were going to bow down to him. So if we go to Matthew 10, let's go to Matthew 10. Matthew 10 Alright One second I'm almost there Now it says Let's go to 30 do, 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 do. You know And I've been, I've been going through my own situation Every time I seem like I um, read the Bible You know I had like God the pastor So you know the devil been pretty much using people who are like, you know, that I guess are like agents or police or something. And like, as I'm make, making this video, how the college just popped up. So, you know, like I said, the devil can use any, pretty much, and if you read a book of, um, there's a Mark, Judas, you know, Judas lied to the scribes and the Pharisees and the police and the officers. And even if you read about the book of um, Paul, they wanted to um, accuse him. They wanted to find a occasion against him. Even if you look look up the book of Daniel, chapter six, the the, the presidents, the rulers, the lieutenants, they all conspired against Daniel to try to come up with a lie accusation. And even if you read the book of it's another um, Esther, they came up, and they made a decree. So like I said, you know, age these are called ages of darkness. You know, it's a lot of people that's locked up in prison right now, and they're innocent. They didn't do anything. So this is just this is the life we we are in. This this is what goes on, and it's not gonna. Um, it always been that way. Before I was born, before you were born, uh, the devil was a liar. If you, even even if you read Revelation twelve, it said the thief come, the um, accuser, the brother come down. He's coming down on that from 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 um, the heavens to accuse us before God day and night. So that's what happens. He accuses us to police anyone who he can, and the the people that he want to use the most 
It's people in authority, people in power. Because people in power, they can press buttons. They can get things to move. He's not going to use a person that doesn't have no power or influence. So they try to use, you know, a sheriff, sergeants, um, a FBI, or, um, yeah, FBI agents. People that can, you know, build up cases against you. So it's called, this is like a demonic expression. So that's what happened to um, Jesus. It was a demonic um, conspiracy, which he did to him. But the Lord, he carried, he went through that on purpose. He, he was here to die on the cross for all of us. So um, the new, if the, if the saint knew that he was doing a job, he was, you know, actually helping Jesus, he wouldn't have did what he did. So Matthew 10, um, 34 says, Think not that I'm coming to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I'm coming to set a man in variance against his father, and against his daughter-in-law, against her mother-in-law. That a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So right there. That's letting you know. So if you go to Psalms 11, Psalms chapter 11, verse 3, it says, that the, this is what David said, King David said, the foundation be destroyed, we can the righteous do. So the, if that family is not right, it's going to be divided. It's going to be people going against each other, warring against each other. Amen. So now let's go to the book of Mark. Mark chapter 3. And Joseph was even sold into prison. He went from slavery into prison, then a ruler. So the Lord had grace. And he was an Egyptian. You know, that's just like us coming, being, living, you know, living the lifestyle, being in the world. And the Lord, you still find grace in the Lord's eyes that he still puts you in a position to be, you know, or to be a blessing. He was a blessing to his brothers. Even to those same brothers that sold him in um, slavery. He, did, he ended up blessing them in, in famine. It was a famine. So, look, the Lord will use you. He will use his children to confound, confound his enemies. And he, even even in Psalm 35, he said they should be confounded. He says that they'll be confounded with the same. So, our enemies, the Lord will cause your enemies, even when they think they're hurting you, or they're showing the Lord will turn around, and they'll be confounded with the same. So, Mark 3, verse 25 said, And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot sin. So same thing with Psalms 11. If that foundation be divided against itself, that house cannot sin. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but he hath an end. So, you know, this, little, this is one thing we need to know. If you know you're going through spiritual warfare, just know you could, you're could most, most likely being attacked the most from within. Like I said, um, look right here, watch this. Let's go up to. Do, 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 do. Hold on one second. Matthew 10. Look at Matthew 10. Watch this. Remember, Judas offered up Jesus. They were supposed to be brothers, right? Or friends, right? But he offered them up to be, you know, killed. Matthew 10, verses. Let's go to verse 21. This is Matthew 10, verse 21. It says, And the brother shall deliver the brother to death. So Judas did. And the father, the child, that the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye should be hated of all men for my name's sake. So this is what the children will go through. This is what the Lord is saying. It said, But he that endured to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in the city, flee into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over that city of Israel to the Son of Man come. The, the disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. So we're going to start, there, start right there. Then we're going to go back to Mark um, 3. So it said, No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods. It said, He will first bind a strong man, then he will spoil his house. So when a strong man is a, um, it's a sexual spirit that operates through a, fam a family member from your father's bloodline or your mother's bloodline. In that case, the strong man was using Joseph's brothers to come against him. And then they can use your mother, your aunt, your uncle, your niece, your nephew, your father, your brother, your sister. It is a stubborn demon. So, for example, King David had to go up against, against Goliath. And that, that is a strong man. If we go back to that book when we, when we was reading Matthew 2, Herod, that's a strong man. He was good about slaying all the children. And even in Acts 12, he even cast Peter, had, um, Peter in prison to, cut, to behead him. He, went to, um, he beheaded John that he was doing. He was going to do the same thing to him. So that's a strong man. Amen. Um, last but not least, Luke 10, 19 said, um, 
But the Lord said to the disciples, we had to notice. We had to notice it has to be in your heart. So he said, Behold, I give unto you power to show up a service of scorpions, but over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon fashioned for and against you shall prosper, but every tongue that rises up against your judgment, thou shalt condemn it. So when you condemn any evil tongue that anyone is speaking against you, it silences. So this this is what people a lot of people don't understand when it comes to spirituality in the church. A lot of people think, you know, if they ignore a gossip that, you know, they will pretty much be able to just ignore it. But really, the Lord is it's written, it's written in the um, Proverbs, said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. And those that love it will eat the fruit of it. So it's power in the tongue. Words carry power, words carry, words carry spirit. So when someone is gossiping about you, you know, if the devil is used to speak lies, mockery, slander, death, shame, part of saying you're going to die of sickness, so you're never going to be married, so you're going to you're never gonna um, be successful. It, it can, it can program. It's a program. It'll program over you. You know, imagine if someone the devil is using people to keep saying the same thing. You're never gonna be successful. You're never gonna prosper. You're not gonna prosper. You have to speak blessings. Over you. That's why the Lord prayer. That's why the Lord said, "Men ought to always pray and pray without ceasing, unless you find yourself into temptation, fall into temptation." That's what He said to His disciples, and they were going to sleep. He was still praying. Every time He checked, He was sleeping. So you know, um. But that being said, no weapon fashion when it gets your problems. Let every tongue that rise against us, thou shalt condemn it. And this is what star hunters or witch or wizard will do to anyone that has a glorious if they no, they can use divination. They can divine and see if you're gonna have a good life. So witches and wizards go against believers in Christ. Always will, always have. So um they speak evil over a person's destiny and life. So if they speak evil, it will transpire it will manifest so that's why we had to speak blessings we can we cancel every curse word we would not say denounce every curse word we over tell it any curse words of sin and disease we get them and over tell it back to the center by the blood of jesus um any cur every curse word of imprisonment um death premature death we condemn it but we over tell it back to the center in the mighty name of jesus so if you condemn it but overturn it it will not come upon you amen um next one What's the next scripture I want to say? It's another scripture I want to speak on. Oh, yeah. Genesis 12, 3. The Lord said, as he said to Abraham, when he made a covenant, he said, I will bless those that bless thee, but I will curse those that curse thee. So on behalf of his children, you should read the book of Numbers 20, 20, Numbers 22, 6. Balaam, Balak, tried to get Balaam to curse the children of Israel. He said, come here. Come curse me these people, for they cover the face of earth. And he was afraid of the, um, the children of Israel because... They destroyed the Amorites. So the devil used him. He was a witch. That's the agent of darkness. A wizard. And the Lord kept reiterating, do not curse these people. Do not curse them. He said over and over. And they still defied. Try to defy them. He said, thou shalt not curse them, for they are blessed. He said, for they shall not be reckoned among the nations. Amen. So um, they he even put up seven altars. Altars of evil. Evil altars. <clears throat> you know how we go to church for a house of prayer. Standards do the same thing. They go in the altars and they do enchantments. Let's go there. And this is all for understanding so that we know how these things happen. They can exchange your destiny, do words, they can do ritualistic spells. Um, so number 22. So you have a lot of people that are going through suffering. A lot of us are not, not living the life that the Lord has ordained us to live because, you know, we have been, someone is speaking evil over us. Whether it's through our family members or on a family evil altar, or a uh, witchcraft altar from some evil agent or some whoever the devil is using to come against you. It could be an unfriendly friend, it could be an evil neighbor, co workers, evil doctor, a nurse, it could be a priest, a false prophet, it could be a member in the church. It doesn't matter who it is. Remember, the Lord is, the devil is the prince of the air. He can manipulate anyone. Um, let's go to number 22. And it says it right there. Um, hold on, my son. And I'm going to read this one verse and then I'm going to skip over to number 23. And then we're going to pray. Number 22 it says this. It says, and the children of Israel set forth and pitched in the plains of Moab on the side by Jordan, um, by Jericho. And by that, the son of Zippor saw so all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was so afraid of the people because they were many. He was afraid. And Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, Now shall this company look up. Now he's saying, I'm going to make these people look up all that are around about us. As the ox look up the grass of the field. 
and but that the son of Zippor was king of the Moabites at the time that he sent messengers therefore unto Benam the son of Beor to Bethel which is by the river of the land of the children of his people to call him saying behold there's a people come out from Egypt you know but remember the Lord delivered the children uh, of Israel out of Egypt he delivered them from being worshipped with idols false gods graven images he delivered them from bondage so he said they come out from Egypt and behold they shall come and say, whenever you deliver, get delivered once, whenever the Lord delivers you from being, you know, of the world, you know, Satan's going to come after you. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's just the thing that happens every day to people. People are being pretty much apprehended by demons, by agents, because they're not doing what they used to do. And the devil's finding occasion against them. He's accusing them. He's holding something against you. Sometimes, most of the time, he has a foothold in the legal right for why he's coming against us. Amen? And how, why he's, you know, causing sickness or affliction or he's causing the spirit of death to pretty much um, chase after people. So that's why uh, um, good people die early. It's called, it's called premature death, untimely death. Um, and he says this. He said, uh, Behold, they cover the face of earth and they abide over against me. And he said, Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people, for they are mighty, too mighty for me. Parable of adventure, I shall prevail. That we might smite them, that I may dry them out of the land. For I why? That he whom thou bless is blessed, and he whom thou curse is cursed, like I said. The Lord says in the one, that the elders of Moab, that the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in their hand. So the rewards of them, that's the witchcraft. That they came into Balaam and spake unto him the words of Balaam. So now let's scroll down to them. He said it again. See, behold, there's a people come out of Egypt which covered the face of earth. Come now, curse me them. Perhaps with adventure, I shall be able to overcome them and drive them out. And God said unto Balaam, that thou should not go with them. And thou should not curse the people. For they are blessed. And Balaam rose up. So Balaam heard that and said, He rose up in the morning and said unto the princes of Balak, He said, Get you into your land, for the Lord refused to give me the leave to go to. And the princes of Moab rose up and went up. So they, they trying to go to a different location to still try to curse the children of Israel. Now, number 20, 23. This is where he raises up seven altars. And the Balaam said to Balak, Build me his seven altars and prepare me his seven oxen and seven rams. Balak did as Balaam had spoken. Balak and Balaam offered on every altar of Balak. Um, at the altar of Balak and Ram. And so it says, it said, Prayer of adventure, the Lord will come to meet me. And whatsoever, whatsoever he showed me, I will tell thee. And he went to a high place. So people go to high places to curse the children of God, families, the church, members. Amen. So if you got a glorious destiny, you know, these, you're going to have witches, witches, age, and darkness. Try to curse you. Um, it said, and now let's go to verse 8. It says, no, seven. So he took up his parable and said, But that the king of Moab had brought me from Aram, out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come curse me, Jacob. He still tried to curse Jacob and come defy Israel. I said, How shall I curse whom God had this is what Balaam said? How shall I curse whom God have not cursed? Well, how shall I defy whom the Lord have not defied? For for the top of the rocks to see him, and from behold, said, For behold, the people shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob? So, you know, the Lord told Jacob, you know, your seed will be as a multitude of the stars. So we are the descendants. Uh, we are the seed of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So it said, in the number of the fourth part of Israel, let me, this is what Balaam said. So let me die, let me die the death of the righteous and let my, my, let my last end be like his. So if you go to Matthew, if you go to number 23, 23, 20, it said, behold, I have received commandment of blessed. They did bless him, and I cannot perverse it. He hath not beheld iniquity. So the Lord said, I have not held for iniquity against these people. Said, um, it said, He hath not held iniquity in Jacob, neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is his God is with him, and the shadow of the king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt, and he hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Surely there's no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it should be said of Jacob and of Israel, what had God wrought? So we declare and declare, and we declare and declare, there is no enchantment, no divination that's uttered against me, my family, our lovers, our health, our finances, our career, our destiny, our job, my ministry, our virtue, our glory, our star, and our finances. We decree, it is condemned. We are arrested by the blood. We are to the back to sender. We are to the back to sender. We are to the back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare and declare, anyone uttering incantations and chambers of death, calamity, tragedy, sickness, disease, backwardness, reproach, retrogression, poverty, joblessness, singleness, um, divorce, affliction, um, failure, 
embarrassment, hatred, rejection. Better blood is you, but you'll pretend a back to sinner. 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 But you'll pretend to the back to the center. But you'll pretend to the back to the center. But you'll pretend to the back to the center. But you'll pretend to the back to the center. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now, let's go to these prayers. And Father Lord, we thank you. For, before we go into this prayer, we welcome, welcome you in, into this prayer. Take full control in Jesus' name. All of you know of us, we cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. And before we even go into this prayer, we cover each and every one of us, uh, all those that are connected to us. But the blood of Jesus, we cover our mind, body, soul, and spirit. We cover our spirit, our soul. And all that pertains to it. We cover our prayers in the blood. We cover our visions and dreams in the blood. We cover our future. We cover our glory, our virtue, our star, and every possession that, that, that is ours. But the precious pool of the blood that we block and prohibit anything to be used by the devil in any of its agents. Let them make sense. We declare that we are blessed with favor. We thank you and we honor you. We give you all the glory, all the adoration. It's, all the, it's by your mercies that we are not consumed by our enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, amen, and amen. And we repent for every known and known sin, anything that may hinder the move of God on this prayer. For the God, wash and deliver us, deliver us and wash any impurity, any iniquity, any filthiness from our body, soul, and spirit. Anything, deliver our families. We repent on behalf of our ancestors, forefathers, and even our parents and our family members. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So let's do it. I'm going to say, but uh, we plead the blood of Jesus to saturate our glory and our destiny and star. Lord of my son of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus and soak our glory, our destiny and star. But the blood of Jesus. We soak our glory. We soak our virtues. We soak our destiny. But the blood of Jesus. We soak our glory. We soak our destiny. We soak our star. Lord the blood of Jesus. We block any evil manipulations over our star, over our glory, over our destiny. Lord of my son name of Jesus. Like I said, people speak words, ritualistic words. To manipulate your glory, your virtue, your star, to make you, you know, you might be strong in health. They can manipulate it. And now you're getting sick and you're going through repeated chronic sickness. This do spells and curses. Amen. So, next one. According to Zechariah chapter 2, 5 through 8, the Lord God of us, let it be a fire that surrounds me and I love us with an anointing that is, makes us untouchable to any destiny destroys. Let the mighty name of Jesus. By the Lord, let your fire be a wall of fire and run me and all that pertains to it against any destiny destroyer. The Lord, let it be anointed of fire. Let the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, send us, send us with a wall of chairs and angels. Let the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, Lord, let you, may you be a fire that surrounds us and our lovers and all that pertains unto us is with chairs and angels. Let the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Then we're going to go to the next one. Um, let's read this book right yeah, we're gonna say that. For the Lord, whatever I, um, I doesn't have been hidden, that it appear by fire located today. That it appear by fire located today. That it appear by fire located today. I don't mind you, my Jesus. I don't mind you, for the Lord, whatever uh, I doesn't have been hidden or caged or, or locked down or buried by any wicked witch or wizard. That it be a Buddha by fire located today. That it be a Buddha by fire located today. That it be a Buddha by fire located today. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord. Whatever I does the dust my lovers and friends have been hindered. Lord God, let it be a Buddha by fire, look at us today. Let it be a Buddha by fire, look at us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, um, if you read the book of Judges 16, that is about Delilah and Samson. And Samson was, you know, deceived to lay down with the Delilah. It's like a witch, just about a spirit woman. And she persuaded him to tell him, tell her his, his secrets. You no, know, he was the strongest man in the Bible. She wanted to know where is your great, where is this great um, strength lie? And she was pretty much giving money by the Philistines to do this, so that she can, so that they can, you know, destroy him. And she kept pressing him, pressing him over and over. You know, he kept telling lies at first. Then after that, she kept pressing him. Then they, um, they, he ended, he ended up laying down. With her. You know, a lot of us. So this is one thing men don't know. When we lay down with women, we you know commit fornication. We tend to let our trust. We we let our guard down, and we tend to tell people our secrets. And this is how the devil destroys us. So that's how she told him about her seven locks. He said, "If you take these seven locks and bind them, 
you know, bind them, basically put spells and do charms and curses. You, will, I will be like any other man. You will strip me, and I will be strong. And he finally told her he, once he lay down, it um, she put bind him, put him in spiritual bondage, and pretty much they destroyed him. And since he um disobeyed what the Lord said, they took out his two eyes. He thought the Lord, he said, I will go out as other times and break the spiritual bondage. You know, look, evil men and women could put a spell on you, you know, through prayer. We break that bondage, and pretty much that's what he was doing. They they would he, they would put him in bondage. He would break it. They would put him in bondage. He would break it by Holy Ghost fire. We praise Holy Ghost fire. So um, he didn't listen. So he tried to go that that last time, and he was he was weak. And they put out his two eyes. Pretty much made him sport, dance with him, dance with um the Philistines, like pretty pretty much clown him. Um, uh, he could put him into humiliation, and he and he cried out to the Lord, Lord, for oh my Lord, hear me one day, just one last time, give me strength that I may avenge myself against these Philistines. And he pretty much destroyed them all with himself. He did it in a um in a banquet. There were two pillars. The pillars is like the old they hold up the building, the church. And um he you know he pulled the pillars down. And destroy them all together as with himself. And um, so, like I said, a lot of us, um, our glories, our destiny, our virtues, our star, have been exchanged by laying down with a man or woman that had a marine spirit, a witchcraft spirit, um, a sexual spirit, um, a spirit of divination, and a spirit exchanges our stars. So that's why I'm not home 4 3. So they said through our whoredoms, our families, and the, um, nations are, are sold. Amen. So we're going to say, for the Lord, in the name of I stand the gap for my family, my friends. For the every evil exchange done over our destiny through sexual contact with any sentence and angel. Look up, look up about that it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. That it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. That it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. My Father, my Father, my Father. Every evil exchange done over our destinies, our glory, our star. That it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. That it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. That it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. My father, my father, my father. Every evil exchange done on our star, our destiny, our glory. With any sentinel agent, with any marine agent, that it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. That it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. That it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. And that the agent fall down and die by fire. That the agent fall down and die by fire. That the agent fall down and die by fire. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. So uh, the devil can be using an agent to get close to someone to get you to let your guard down, now you're around, you're laying down. And they're being used by the devil to steal from you. The spirit within them, not necessarily them, but the spirit in them. Remember, we, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against what is the darkness, and spiritual wickedness, heavenly places. Amen. Next prayer, we're going to say, I will cover, I will cover my destiny for the marine kingdom. And in any witchcraft environment, let them might know my Jesus. I will cover, I will cover my destiny from every marine kingdom. In, in which you have environment, let them actually know my Jesus. Now, Marine Kingdom is dealing with the waters, water spirits, succubus, and incubus is marine demons. That's why a lot of us are going through sex in the dream, eating in the dream. And this is marine spirits that have, this lets you know you're married to a, um, a water spirit, whether it's a, or, um, um, a spirit husband or a spirit wife. So you have to divorce, renounce, denounce, break, destroy the um, covenant, and you have to. Um, Destroy the wedding ring, release fire burning, and destroy any wedding gown, and destroy the wedding certificate. For that. But that's for another prayer. Um, right now, we're just doing exchanges. So, since you know what that is, you can go and look that up for another one. So, for the, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will gather my destiny from any marine kingdom. I will gather a destiny from every witchcraft environment. Let them know my Jesus. I will gather them by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're going to say, oh yeah, and if you if you read Exodus 22, the Lord already said, Thou shalt not suffer which shall live. Anyone that sacrificed unto any God shall be utterly destroyed. And, if you, like I said, if you read Matthew 2 7, you did them a stone. They can exchange your glory for theirs. They can program death and destruction into your life so they can steal from you. This is spiritual. And they're like eaters of flesh, drinkers of blood. If you read Matthew, um, Psalm 27, uh, I just believe it's David. He said, uh, even even when my enemies and foes come upon me to eat up my flesh, at least you're stubborn to fall. So eaters of flesh, this, they can steal from you. They want to drain you. It's like spiritual vampires. You'll be getting around someone, 
and you start feeling sad or depressed or sleepy or weak, you're around a vampire spirit that's within that person. It could be a best friend, so-called. It could be your boyfriend. It could be your husband. It could be your co-worker. And they're draining you. And that's how you get weak. And they can even still, the, the main cause is to kill you. So um, it's a very serious, it's a very serious matter. So that's why the Lord said, be separate from unrighteousness. You know, light cannot be with darkness. Amen. So um, be separate. Amen. Um, so now we're going to say, any satanic straw man using the blood of any animal to exchange my star or any of my, any of my other stars, let it backfire. Let them die by fire. Let it backfire. Let them die by fire. Let them backfire. Let them die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, my father, my Lord, any satanic strongman from my house, from my father's house, my mother's house, or any external strongman that has exchanged our, our stars to any sacrificial animal, ah, let it backfire, let them die by fire, 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 let them die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Next one. Now we're going to say, any power set up in our life, blocking the rise of our stars, be cast into the fire. Then in my Jesus. Now, Goliath, remember, nothing for the children of Israel being oppressed by Goliath. Nothing was moving forward for the children of Israel until Goliath was destroyed. And he had six toes, six fingers, the giant. So he pretty much was defying Israel, keeping them, into, keeping them in bondage, affliction. Amen. So um, even through families, cities, you know, the powers that be there are not destroyed. You know, people, family, church will st still keep going through demonic oppression. And, you know, Goliath was saying, you know, I will treat you. I will sacrifice unto my gods. And so, you know, Goliath, they were worshiping gods, false gods. So that's why the Lord said, anybody that sacrifices unto any god should be utterly destroyed. So we declare, declare that enemies shall be utterly, utterly destroyed in Jesus' name. And at the end of the day, you will never know. If you're dealing with this type of thing, which only a child of God would be going through, you never know who the devil is. It could be people you don't even know. It could be strangers. Amen? Um, so let's do it again. Any sentenced straw man, a woman, using the blood of an animal to exchange me or any of my other stars, got a boss, that they backfire and let them die by dinner. That they backfire and let them die by dinner. That they backfire and let them die by dinner. That they die by dinner. Let them die by dinner. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we're going to go to the next one. Um, sorry. I'm going to say any power, any Goliath that is set up on our stars, that is set up on our horizon. Oh, God of ours, let them die because it to the sea. Let them die because it to the fire. Let them die because it to the fire. Let them die because it to the fire. In Jesus' name, look. Goliath is, is, is like a spiritual giant. Remember, the Lord said it takes a faith as a mustard seed. If you have faith, you can tell this mountain to move. It'll be cast into the sea. So Goliath, he's like a giant. So we're casting anything. It could be a any spirit in faith. Any any spiritual um, giant, any enemy that's standing as a spiritual giant, you know, let it be cast into the sea. Any with the creating faith, any financial issue, any financial bondage, oppression, let it stand as a mountain. But in faith, we command it to be cast into the sea. Let it might seem to Jesus. Any Thing, any sickness, any chronic sickness that is standing as a, as a giant, we cast into the sea. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. So you can have a physical en enemy as well that is like a giant. Too. It could be uh, a politician. It could be it could be a coworker. It could be a supervisor. It could be like a giant. It could be they're being used by the devil to oppress you in your workplace. So that's like a giant. It could be making sure you do not get advanced. They can be, they can be being used, making sure that you will never get a promotion. So that's the spiritual giant. Amen. So now that's good. We're going to do it again. Any powers, any giant that is blocking me from my rising, let them die because it's to the sea. Let them die because it's to the sea. Let them die because it's to the sea. Let them die because of the sea. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let them make with Jesus. All right, let's go to the next one. Any personality that the devil has replaced for life. Catch fire. Die by fire. Catch fire, die by fire. Catch fire, die by fire. Let them mention the Jesus. Let them mention the Lord again. Any personality from my mother's bloodline, from my father's bloodline, 
before the place went burp. Catch where? Dabba did him. 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 I don't mind you know my Jesus. I don't mind you know my Jesus. Do it again. Any evil personality from my father's house, my mother's house, or from any unfriendly friend. Catch where? Dabba for you. Catch where? Dabba for you. Catch where? Dabba for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we're going to say, any, the house of the wicked strong man will I destiny have been brought over and used for worship care purposes. Catch where? And I will cover them. Catch where? And I will cover them. Catch where? And I will cover my possessions. Catch where? And I will cover my possessions. I don't mind to know my Jesus. Whatever this strong man has stolen uh, our goods, any physical possessions, any spiritual, um, any spiritual possession that's in that in in any witchcraft warehouse, I break it to it in the name of Jesus, and I will cover them by fire. I break it to the warehouse, and I will cover them by fire. I break it to the warehouse. I will cover my possessions. I will cover my possessions. Let us show me for then and die, for then and die, for then and die, for then and die, for then and die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Because of nothing. And we're going to say, anything stolen from my life, for the life of my lungs while we in the womb, oh God, arise in your mercy. Let it be bestowed by the blood of Jesus. Let it be bestowed by the blood of Jesus. Let it be bestowed by the blood of Jesus. Let it be bestowed by the blood of Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said, womb, if you if you know what's in a womb, it's water. So, uh, like, like I said, a lot of us inherit that marine like I said, a lot of our ancestors worship marine gods. So those marine demons travel up the bloodline and they afflict families and they oppress families. If it's like this. They if you don't bow down and worship those uh, those idols, those gods, they're gonna oppress, attack, kill, steal that next family that next generation. So a lot of our ancestors have decreed and pronounced that no one in this um at us will be successful or will be prosperous. Amen. Yeah, they said that no one be successful or prosperous. So these demons, they will go and oppress and make sure you never fulfill your purpose. First of all, they want to kill and still destroy. That's the main thing. Amen? So these Marines, it's called Marine. So you can even have a Marine strongman, a special Marine strongman. Amen? Hold on one second. This is the last prayer, and we're going to do some more. Amen. What is it saying? Any, any satanic exchange done over my destiny, you know, any witch, do witch doctor, we were vouched by the blood of Jesus. Then I fucked in and died by fire. Any evil exchange done over me or any of my lovers by any witch doctor, that the witch doctor died. Then it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. Then the witch doctor died by fire. And then it be reversed by the blood. Then it be reversed by the blood. Let it be reversed by the blood. Let it be reversed by the blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the Korean and the Korean declare it is well with you. God bless. I'm going to come back. Amen. Peace.